Uh, after this, uh, you're going to be seeing me reviewing The Santa Claus with Tim Allen, and you'll watch it. And uh, it will be very good and very fun. And you will enjoy it greatly. I know you will. It's this camera. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Brandino's Reviews. I'm Brandino, and boy, do I sure review. You guys smell that? It smells like Christmas spirit. Either that or the souls of the fallen. Either way, it means there's a wild Tim Allen movie nearby. Thanks, Review Goblin. You have pleased me. Hey, look! It's Disney's The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. A movie where Tim Allen murders Santa in front of his child and then horrifically morphs into him to take his place. Because life is expendable, but Christmas is now. It really does get me into the holiday spirit. And to stick with our themes of legal bindings, we have our own clause. Everyone, this is Garcian. He's here to sue me if I slip up. Say hi, Garcian. I'm in danger, aren't I? Anyways, uh, let's see. So the movie is about Scott Calvin, who's a divorced dad, business owner, and generally just kind of a jerk. His son is staying over with him for Christmas, who for some reason really doesn't want to be there. Like normally in these sort of feel-good holiday movies, it's like the mean parent keeping the kid from seeing the cool parent. But no, this kid like really doesn't want to be here. By the way, uh, Scott Calvin is played by Tim Allen, and therefore I will be referring to him as Tim Allen for the rest of the review. Because you know who Tim Allen is. It's Tim Allen. He just plays himself in every movie. Anyway, some boring stuff happens, and then one night, Tim Jr. hears some spooky steps on the roof. Uh, Garcian, how are we, how we doing so far? His aura intimidates me. Anyway, so uh, they hear some spooky stuff on the roof, and then Tim and little Tim go out, and uh, oh my gosh, it's Santa on the roof. Uh, so then Tim Allen's just like, hey, what are you doing on my roof? And then Santa gets scared and falls off the roof and dies. Like, actually, for real, dies. Santa Claus is deceased. D just discarded. Like a piece of tinfoil wrapping on a burrito. Anyway, Tim goes up to Santa Claus' cold, dead body, and he finds a card in his pocket that's essentially like, hey, if you're reading this, Santa's dead, and now you're Santa. And that's called the Santa Claus. Get it? The Santa Claus? It's like, like the title of the movie. Garcia, you get it, right? Please don't hurt me. Anyways, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So uh, the movie in general is kind of mediocre. The acting in it is fine, I guess. Uh, but Tim Allen's fun. You know, it's Tim Allen. He's always fun, whether it's good or bad. Uh, you know, I guess you can go and watch it if you want. I won't stop you. I'm not like your dad. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because it's still not great. But I mean, hey, go for it if that's your thing. Uh, so, you know, doing good, Garcian. Doing pretty good. Anyway, that was my review of uh, Tim Allen's The Santa Claus. It's, you know, not that great. Four cease and desist letters out of ten. This is a bootleg disc. That's why he's here. I'm, I'm constantly fearing for my life. The evil is defeated. 